I'm Dr. Laura Penny. I teach in the Foundation Year program, and I'm also an alumnus of FIP. Uh, I'm here to tell you about Section 5, The Age of Revolutions, which is my favorite FIP section. We call it The Age of Revolutions because it contains several. So the first one we start with is the French Revolution in 1789. The French Revolution is a transformative event in Western history. It's where we get our demand for democratic equality. It's where we get the right-left distinction that we still use to describe political philosophies. And it's also where we get the restaurant. The next revolution that you will encounter in this section is the Industrial Revolution, which continues to transform our world. You'll look at the Industrial Revolution from a couple of different points of view. First of all, you'll really read Karl Marx for a philosophical critique of the economic inequality that comes with capitalism, a critique that is still very relevant today. Second, you will look at the poetry of Charles Baudelaire, which will give us a sense of the way that the Industrial Revolution contributes to the urbanization of the world. Finally, you'll look at the paintings of the French Impressionists, which incorporate elements like the steam engine that you frankly aren't going to see in medieval paintings. Two of the other revolutions that you see in this section are the Darwinian Revolution. Charles Darwin's work was and is extremely controversial, and it's wonderful to actually sit down and read something like Darwin so that you can see what he actually thought behind all the hype about Darwin. Similarly, you'll have a look at the philosophy of Friedrich Nietzsche. Nietzsche is going to argue that God is dead and we are his murderers. This is going to mean that we can no longer appeal to the Judeo-Christian morality that you learned about in sections one through three, and it's going to give us a lot of problems that you will see in section six.